Governor Christie, surrounded by Democratic legislators, signed a bill designed to stabilize the solar energy market in New Jersey. Lucrative incentives have led to a glut of solar installations in the state and a price drop in solar energy credits that threatens to halt the industry in its tracks, something neither party wants to see. We're the second largest solar producing, solar energy producing uh, state in the country, only behind California. So um, we've been a leader in this. We're going to continue to be a leader in it. It's good for our environment and it's, and it's good for business here. There are lots of jobs that are being created because of the solar industry and having a stable price, it'll make it easier for people to obtain the financing. When you have the financing, they will be able to build the projects, thereby creating the jobs. In a Q&A with reporters, Christie was asked about the unemployment rate in New Jersey rising to 9.6 percent, well above the national average. He said jobs are being created here at a healthy clip. What we're seeing here, and, and we've talked about this before, is New Jerseyans are so optimistic that things are getting better that more and more of them are re-entering the workforce. When more and more people re-enter the workforce, you have to create jobs at an even faster rate to get the rate to go down, not up. Um, our labor force participation is a good two and a half points higher than the, than the federal, uh, than the national labor force participation. He said despite widespread reporting, he has not been asked to be keynote speaker at the Republican convention. And I've had other governors call me and congratulate me. And I'm like, guys, I didn't get asked. <laughs> um, so if um, Governor Romney, uh, you know, asks me, uh, you can be sure I'll say yes. And uh, then we'll have some fun in the last week of August down in uh, down in Tampa. But you can be sure I'll have fun either way. As for the mass killing at a Colorado movie theater, he veered away from questions about gun control. I feel awfully for those families. There's two with New Jersey roots, one who was injured, one who was killed. Um, and this is just not the appropriate time to be grandstanding about gun laws. Can we at least get through the initial grief and tragedy for these families before we start making them political pawns? Christie said he agrees with President Obama that there are enough gun laws on the books and they need to be enforced. For NJ Today, I'm Michael Aaron at the State House.